Hello everyone, this is Grade 6, Module 6, Lesson 8, Problem Set. Uh, for question 1, it says, The number of pockets in the clothes worn by 7 students to school yesterday was 4134225. Today, those 7 students each had 3 pockets in their clothes. A says, draw one dot plot of the number of pockets data for what students wore yesterday and another dot plot for what students wore today. Be sure to use the same scale. So uh, I know I have one where they have uh, three pockets. I know that there's seven students. And uh, I know that this is yesterday. So I'm going to draw two of these. Um, and I'll label those. We'll say uh, yesterday. And I know I got to start with one, two, three, four, five. And I count how many ones there are. And there's one. There's twos. Three. Four and five. Now for uh, today, I gotta use the same scale, so I gotta have one, two, three, four, five. And I know that all seven of them were three. And the way reason why I know that is it says it right there. Those seven students each had three pockets. So I'm gonna go back over here. So I gotta put seven dots over three. Five, six, seven. So I'm darkening those in. There's seven. Um, so now, uh, B says, for each distribution, find the mean number of pockets worn by the seven students. Show the mean uh, means on the dot plots by using the balancing triangle symbol. <clears throat> so, uh, I know already for today, it's three. And the reason I know is I have seven groups at three. The average is three because there's nothing different. For yesterday, there's some variability, meaning I have one, two twos, a three, two fours, and a five. And I'm going to use my, uh, my way of solving for this so I can just add these up. Uh, one and two make three plus 2 is 5, plus 3 is 8, plus 4 is 12, plus 4 is 16, plus 5 is 21. And I don't know why I wrote a 5 there. But let's put 21. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 21 and divide it by the number of pieces of data, which I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and I'll get my answer of 3. So again, I have a mean of 3. The last part, uh, C says, for which distribution is the mean number of pockets a better indicator of what is typical? Uh, well, we have mean of 3 for both of them. Which one is really summarizing the data the best using the mean? Um, up here for yesterday, there's a lot of variability, meaning there's a lot of different ones. There's 1s, there's 2s, there's a 3, there's 4s, there's 5. Uh, for the today, there's only 3s. So the mean actually shows the typical for that one. So it's for today. That's the best indicator um, because uh, the mean is 3 pockets. And it's a better indicator for today's distribution because everyone in today's distribution had three pockets. And there's my uh, statement right there. So let's go to two. Actually, let's skip two. Let's go to three. Um, so for three, the following table shows the price per gallon of gasoline and cents at five stations across town as recorded on Monday, Wednesday, Friday of a certain week. The mean price per day for the five stations is the same for each of the three days. Without doing any calculation and simply looking at Friday's prices, so I'm looking just at Friday's prices, these bottom ones right here. 
what must the mean price be? So when I look at those, uh, just those bottom ones, uh, so what I'm going to do quick uh, is I'm going to block off all the other ones because I only want to look at these. So I want to figure out the mean just by looking at these to see what the mean is. Well, I see that I have 370. If I take 10 away from that and give it to the 350, I'll be left with 360 here. I already have 360 here. And 370 goes to 360 because I took 10 away. Well, I know that I can do the same exact thing. Take 10 away from the 370 here give it to the 350 and I get 360 and there's my mean. The price must be, the mean price must be 360 cents. For which daily distribution is the mean a better indicator of the typical price per gallon for the five stations? So what I'm going to do right now uh, is I'm going to get rid of that because I got to look at all of this and I know that my mean is 360 so when we say which is a better indicator we're trying to find one that has the least amount of variability <clears throat> meaning the the least amount of spread between the numbers so when we look at this we're looking at daily distribution so we're looking this direction um, we know that they're all going to have a mean of 360 so we don't have to calculate that but what we have to see is like the spread I know that this is 10 away this is 10 away that's 10 away that's 10 away so it's kind of a big spread it looks like from 50 to 70 there's about a 20 point spread or a 20 cent spread up in the next one we have 3 and 5 4 6 so we have some spread away from it, but it's only six at the most. On Monday, we have a one, two, two, one, and two. And what I'm saying is the distance away from 360. Um, and it looks like Monday is going to be the best because um, there's least amount of spread between all the numbers and there's my statement there the mean is a better indicator for Monday because it has the least variability or the 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 lowest spread between all the numbers which is the distance between the two between the mean and another value hope this helps thanks for watching and good luck on the rest of your problem set